The weather data tool in SMS allows you to access historical weather data up to the previous 15 years. This feature allows the tracking of weather patterns, yearly comparisons, historical averages, and much more. In this tutorial, we will cover how to access the weather tool, set up weather zones, edit weather stats, and import external data from a weather station. Before any charts of weather data can be created, weather zones must be added for your existing fields. First, click on the Weather tab at the bottom of the Project Workspace window. Weather zones can be created one of two ways. By clicking Weather Options, then Add Edit Weather Zones, or click Create Chart, and SMS will recognize your selected field does not have a weather zone. Click OK. Either option will bring you to the Weather Zones window. Weather zones will be automatically created for you based on your field locations. Each zone will be two square miles and tells SMS which geographical areas to download weather data. Zones can be renamed if desired. Editing a field's assigned zone lets the user group specific fields into one common zone or isolate one field into its own zone. This can be useful for importing weather data for a single field, but allowing SMS to download data for the remaining fields. Deleting a zone will move those fields to the not assigned group, and no data will be downloaded for those fields. After making any necessary changes, click Save and Download. Download times can be expected to be approximately 5 minutes per zone. Next, select your field, year, and time span you want to view data for, then click Create Chart. Three default weather charts will appear in the report space. Utilizing weather charts is covered in a separate tutorial linked to the card above. To edit any weather data, click Weather Options, then View Edit Weather Stats. Any weather stat can be manually adjusted in this window by first filtering your zone, year, and month. For example, if you have a record that a precipitation event yielded different results than the downloaded information, click on the cell for that day and enter the new precipitation value. The most recent seven days of data will have the status of interim, indicating that this data could change the next time weather data is downloaded. Any data more than seven days old will be locked in as final. Editing any interim data will finalize it up to that date. The Irrigation Data tab can log additional precipitation amounts applied by an irrigation system. Either the Weather or Irrigation tab can be exported as a CSV file for Excel. When finished making edits, click Save, then Close. Back in the Weather Options window, users also have the ability to import data from their weather station. This is when it would be beneficial to name your zones appropriately so the correct zone can be selected for the import process. External weather data must be in a CSV file format. Imported weather data will also overwrite any previously downloaded data. In the weather settings window, there is the option to always update the weather data when a project is opened. This will ensure that the most recent weather stats are always available to the user. Here we can also set the default time span for creating charts. Display units can also be edited, and operational milestones can be turned on and off. Milestones will indicate on the charts when certain field operations took place. Lastly, anytime we want the most recent weather data available, clicking the Update Weather icon will tell SMS to update any interim data or download new data up to your current date. Now you'll be able to access the weather tool, set up weather zones, edit weather stats, and import external data from a weather station. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLitter, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.